can can you hear me? Perfect. Can you hear me when I go back here? Starting to get closer. What about now? Can you hear me? Okay. I'm just going to have to speak loud. In order, so you can see obviously what I'm doing. Okay, perfect. Might be able to put the volume. Maybe there's a way I can put volume up on speaker. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. Thanks, Lindsay. Hey guys, can you hear me? Hi, I can hear you. Perfect. How's it going? We're just gonna we're just gonna wait till eleven. We get some more people to uh, jump on here. How's everybody doing? You doing all right? See you.
waiting for a couple more minutes. Two more minutes, then we'll we'll start with the introductions, and we'll do a little warm up, and then we'll get we'll get straight into it. How's it going? Well, ready, guy. Racket, you're ready. I see you're ready. I like it. Ready. I got my coffee. Racket. Got your coffee. Got a little energy going. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> All right. So it's eleven o'clock. We'll uh, we'll get it started. So it's going to be the first uh, master class. I'm doing it outdoors on the driveway via Zoom on my phone. So be prepared. quiet hopefully not uh, we're going to work on some tips uh, we're going to incorporate tennis tips into a bunch of fitness tips as well okay so we're going to run through as you can see i have a mat i'm going to turn it I, I brought out a medicine ball got my water bottle um we can incorporate doing body weight exercises as well. So first off, I want to thank everyone for joining me here on Friday at 11. You know, as HRC, we're always super positive. We're motivated. We're tennis lovers. We're going to do anything we can. Try to do something tennis. And that's what I'm doing today to help you guys work on your Uh, if I need to be louder, just let me know. And also HRC, the Racket Club is on here and they're going to let me know too because I'm trying to be as loud as I can so you guys can hear me and follow me while we do this. We're also going to take breaks and I'll do a short Q&A at the very end. You can ask me anything tennis related, fitness related, and I will do my best to give you an honest answer. Okay, so let's start off. I'm going to back up. I want to do just a five minute warm up to get the blood going. Just 10 jumping jacks to get going. Okay, then I want you to do some high knees. Do some heel kicks. So if you're turning, let me hit the heel kicks. Back to jumping jacks. Back to the high knees. Just trying to get the heart rate going a little bit, obviously, without being have, having the option to run side to side. Back to the heel kicks again. Okay. I want you to do some arm circles. About 10 of them. Other way, 10. OK, 
Okay, now cross your body. Okay, and then last, alternating hand. Really opens up the shoulders. So we're gonna be doing quite a bit of stroke swinging. Okay, open up the hip. We're gonna do hip circles. Forward and backward. Really draw that big circle with the hip. Great for mobility. Okay, we're back. I'm gonna do some calf raises, about 10 calf raises. Okay, and now just with your body weight, feet shoulder width apart or a little more than shoulder width apart, we're gonna do 15 squats, nice and easy. Put the hands out in front, that helps counterbalance everything. All right, last warm-up exercise. We're gonna do five lunges on each leg, okay? So we're gonna do a lunge. Make sure the knee doesn't go over your toe. Keep the chest up straight. Last one. Okay, perfect. Should be a little warm right now. We're going to start. We're going to delve into some swinging now. One of the main things a lot of people ask me in the lessons is proper setup on the forehand and the backhand. And a lot of that comes down to proper weight transfer. And you have to have a wide base in order to have proper weight transfer. So if I'm setting up to hit a forehand, my feet have to be wider, not so close to shoulder width apart, actually wider than my shoulder. So if you watch, a lot of people that are down here, they're wide. Same thing on the backhand. They're wide so they can step in and transfer the weight. So I really want you to focus on that when you're working on your strokes. So we're gonna start, we're gonna do 10 side to side, easy forehand backhands while we're moving focusing on having a wider base okay so try to follow along we're just going to do 10 so i wanted to make sure you guys know what we're doing and then we're going to start incorporating all these strokes into squats lunges and some other exercises to make a high intensity workout so let's do i'm going to do 10 right now let's so, step Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay. Just a warm up to start. So what we're gonna do what we're gonna do is we're gonna do five sets okay i'm going to open it up a little more now so i'm going to back up so you can see me and we're going to add one more element in and that's a crossover step which is extremely important it's the most important recovery step in the game so i'm going to show you how to do it so if i'm back here as i go out to hit 
I have to make sure I cross over, recover. So if I was hitting a forehand and a backhand, I would get out, forehand, cross over, backhand, cross over, forehand, cross over. And that's how you can be the most efficient on the court, hitting a shot. You watch your shot as you cross over recover, as opposed to hitting the ball, watching it, and then recovering. So that really, I mean, especially you watch the pros, they're amazing at, at doing that. So let's do, hopefully you can get me the shot. I might put the camera back a little bit so I can move a little more. Um, I'm gonna go side to side. I go 10 shots, work on base, crossover, recovery. along with One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Hopefully, you guys were able to follow along with that. That'd be our base. So I say 10 side to side, that's what we're gonna do. If you don't have the space, obviously just work on shorter movements and still turning and having a wide base, okay? We're gonna start with 10 side to side. Then 10 squats, and then we're gonna come back here. So nonstop. I'm going to use, I'm going to squat with my medicine ball. I have an eight pound medicine ball I'm going to use um, as well as with the lunges. Okay. We're going to do 10 squats and 10 lunges on each leg nonstop. Okay. Here we go. And go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, okay. I'm gonna get the squat, okay? So we're doing 10 squats. Make sure your knee doesn't go over your toes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now we go right into 10 lunges on each leg. One, go back up so you can see my form. One, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six, Seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine, ten, and ten. All right. Put it down. Okay. That's one set. Now we're going to go real quick, talk a little bit about the volley because we are going to incorporate some volleys as well in this because the volleying is a great exercise. You have to get down, you have to lunge. So make sure when you volley, your grip is the same as your serve, your backhand volley, your forehand volley, your overhead, and your slice should all be the same grip. And I'm going to do this a little awkward, but so it should be a continental grip, basically like you're shaking the hands of the racket. So if that makes sense, I'm here. Okay. One of the most important things in the fall. Here, if I'm back here and I go to volley, my first move ends up, I end up hitting a ball back here at my side. But if my ready position is here, my elbow's out in front, now I can take everything out in front and I'm not gonna be late on anything. 
So that's a big key. That's one of the things I, I always focus on uh, when I'm playing and also with everybody that I work with is really making sure that elbow is out in front. So let's, I'm going to back up. Let's do 10 forehand volleys and 10 backhand volleys. Uh, we're going to split step and really make sure we step in on each one. Okay. Here we go. So we're split step, down, forehand volley. That's one. Down, forehand volley. That's two. Three. Out in front. Keep that elbow on. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Now let's go backhand volley. Same thing. Keep it out in front. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. Good. So you should feel it a little bit in the legs by now. Keep in mind, we're going to keep ramping up exercises as we go. So we had the ground strokes, we had the volley. Now we're gonna incorporate both, okay? I'm gonna back up. We're gonna do 10 ground strokes again, uh, 10 forehands, 10 backhands total. And then we're gonna go right into volleys, okay? So stay with me. So 10 ground strokes, 10 volleys. And here we go. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Right into the ball. One, two, three, four. Make sure you split step. Five, six, seven, eight. Nice. Okay. All right. Well done. So, you can get a sip whenever you guys need it, especially when I'm talking. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to a bit of moving forward from a ground stroke into a volley. You don't need that much space, but so what we're going to do is I'm going to hit a forehand. Then I'm going to take two steps in and hit a volley. Then I'm going to back up two steps, hit a backhand, take two steps forward, hit a backhand volley. So it's a little bit like you're transitioning into that imaginary core, but that's the best we can do right now. So let's do 10 on the forehand side. Um, so 10 forehands, 10 forehand volleys, 10 backhands, 10 backhand volleys. So this one's a little, little, a uh, little more intense, but working on that up and back movement. Okay. Oh, here we go. Forehand, two steps in, volley, and back. Back in, two steps in, backhand volley, and back. Forehand, two steps in, forehand volley, and back. Back in, two steps in, volley, and back. Forehand, two in, volley, push back. Back in, two steps in, split, volley, and push back. Counting correctly. And last one. All right. Try to get the heart rate up a little bit. Get you moving, get your sizes. Even I'm breathing a little bit. Uh, which is good. So uh, get a quick sip, and uh, we're gonna we're gonna so at your uh, on some planks. You can I'm gonna hold these for about 30 seconds. So 
nothing crazy. You can hold longer, hold shorter, but I'm gonna incorporate some front planks, some side planks, then we're gonna get it back into the squats and the lunges with the medicine ball, okay? So, bring my mat in. I'm gonna go back. I'll just yell out. I'm gonna go second switch to the side plank, reset. 15 squats, some ball weight you have at home, and then 10 lunges on each leg with a medicine ball. If you don't have a weight, really kind of practice that air shadow lunge with your racket, okay? Starting now. That belly button in, pull it nice and tight. Don't let the hips drop. You want to keep them up, keep the glute up, or tight full time. Hold another 10 seconds, maybe. Five, four, three. Two, one, and let's switch it. Switch it over to the side plank. I usually do this just to gauge the line to make sure it's correct. And then I come down, really make sure this is up, that the hip doesn't drop. Keep that hip up the whole time. Feel that. Oblique muscle working, stabilizing everything. Hold it for five more. Four, three, two, one, and down. Switch around. And up, gauge the line, down, keep that hip up. Feel the obliques contracting the whole time. Keep breathing while you're doing it. Okay, let's hold for another five, four, three, two, one, and down. Okay, got my medicine ball, your weights. We're gonna do some squats now. We're gonna do 15 squats, okay? Make sure again, your knee doesn't go over your toe. Try to get to 90 degrees. And let's go. One, two, three. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Okay. Now we're gonna do lunges. Ten on each leg. Okay. Again, make sure the knee doesn't go over the toe. Keep the chest up. Sips. Some water if you need it. Make sure you hydrate. 
you're outside, especially a little more humid today. So beautiful okay, though. So now we're gonna incorporate a little some upper body exercises, okay? Beside the swinging. So we're gonna do 10 side to side, forehand and back hands again. As soon as we're done with that, yeah. Not barking at me, it's okay. Uh, as soon as we as soon as we do that, we're gonna jump into some shoulder exercises. Okay, I'm gonna show you the shoulder exercises right now. Our different three pound dumbbells. But that being said, there's gonna be three exercises we're doing. Okay, and it, these are all for the back. So on the side, you're gonna go down. This is the first one. Then you're gonna turn the hands so the thumbs are facing inward. That's the second exercise. So I think everybody's pretty familiar with those. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do 10 side to sides, forehand and backhand. We're gonna jump right into the shoulder exercises, three sets of 10. So 10 of those exercises with thumb neutral. If you don't have weights, you can have teams then. Use your racket and just use body weight, um, but really focus on the mobility of the shoulder, okay? Here we go. And side to side. Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Right into the shoulder. One, two. Three, four, five. Make sure you don't bend the elbows. Try to keep them straight. Eight, nine, ten. Now thumb in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Thumb out. One. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, well done. Okay. I'm going to talk a little bit about the serve. So just like we talked about the grip on the volley has to be the same as your service grip. We're going to do some air swings with the serve and incorporate that into some of the movement patterns we're doing. So when I serve, one tip important, if you're right-handed, when you line up for the serve, make sure your toes are facing towards that right net post. So if I'm back here, and you can see me, if I'm serving to the do side and I have my feet here and I put my racket here, it should be pointing to the right net post, okay? And if you're left-handed, the opposite. If I'm left-handed, then I wanna make sure I'm going to the left net post. And what that does, it just properly aligns that hip turn and the shoulder turn. I'm sure you guys have heard this a lot, but it really is important because if your feet don't line up with the net post, a lot of times you end too early on the surface. So it allows you to really rotate into the serve and snap through and finish. My feet are open, my hip opens up too early and I hit, end up hitting a serve straight on. And I'm using too much of my arm and not my shoulder rotation to create power, if that makes sense for everybody. So let's start, let's do five swings, nice and easy, just to warm up the serve a little bit. So nice and easy, let it flow. I like to do this drill where I, I kind of, I swing and then I let the racket come through naturally so it allows momentum and gravity to create that fluidity. So it's nice and easy. It's a nice 
easy drill to do at home. Okay. So I'm going to back up. I'm going to do we're combination serve. I'm going to hit a forehand. Then I'm cross over and hit a backhand. Then I'm going to come in and hit one forehand volley, split step, one backhand volley. So it's basically like we're playing a point, okay? So serve, a forehand, a backhand, forehand volley, backhand volley, okay? Then we're going to take a three-second break after each one. We're going to do five sets of that, okay? And here we go. Serve, forehand, one, two, on this, split, volley, split, volley, and back. There we go. That's one point. 15 left. Here we go. Spin, forehand, cross over, backhand, move forward, split, volley, split, backhand, volley, and finish. That's done. That's two. Serve. Forehand, backhand, forward, volley, volley, and back. Good job, guys. At three. Serve. Forehand, cross over. Step in, forward, split step. Forehand, volley, split step, back, and volley. One more point. 40 bucks. Match point. Let's see how good you are. Forehand, backhand, forward, split, split, and well done. Good job, guys. Just get you moving a little bit, get the heart rate up, get those tennis movements going. Now we're going to work a little bit on stability and prior perception. So this is where you can use a cup, you can use your water bottle. If you don't have any of those, then just kind of draw an imaginary line about a foot above the ground. So I think you can see my cone. Uh, almost. Now you can see my cone. So what we're going to do is you're going to stand about a foot behind your cone. You don't need your racket. Put your racket aside. Without your knee going over your toe, you're going to dip down, touch the cone with the right hand, touch the cone with the left hand, okay? We're going to do 12 touches total. So six on the right, six on the left. Then we're going to switch legs. As soon as we're done with that, we're gonna go right into the plank exercise again. So 30 seconds front, 30 seconds sides, each side, okay? So you can get that set up. So we do the cone, and then we go right to the planks. All right, here we go. Six on each leg. One, two, three. Make sure that knee doesn't go over the toe. Four, we'll do 12 total. Five, six, seven, eight. Make sure this leg gets behind the left leg. Twelve. All right, switch legs. One, two. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. One more. Twelve. Well done. Now we go straight into the planks. Thirty seconds. And go. Halfway there. Five 
Five seconds. And switch it. Now we're going to the side. Get that arm up. Break that alignment. Make sure the hip doesn't drop. Get that hip up. Halfway there. Last three seconds. Three, two, one, and switch it up. up. Arm for alignment. Down. Keep that hip up. Way there. Feel that tightening of the leaf. Last five seconds. And down. All right, well done, everybody. Okay, move my phone. Now we're gonna work on a little more up and back movement. Uh, I want it, you can do it with the racket in your hand, just so you feel like it's a little more realistic. What we're gonna do, we're gonna take four steps forward, four steps back, but we're gonna do it quick. So we're working on acceleration. Everybody should be pretty. Four steps forward, four steps back, two steps. Main thing is just that you're working on your explosiveness um, while you're doing this exercise. So we're gonna do 10 times, step up, four steps back, one. Do that 10 times, do it as quick as you can, okay? When you're done with that, we're gonna go straight into the shoulder exercises again. Three sets of 10, like I showed you, thumb neutral, thumb in, thumb out, okay? So it's two exercises combined. So here we go. And go. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, well done. Get your weights, shoulders, okay? And here we go. Really focus on that scapula pulling back. Thumbs in now. And 10, last set guys, thumbs out. Feel that shoulder blade squeeze at the top. That's 10, good job. Water if you need it. Now we're going to do, we're going to go back to some lunges with the rackets. We're going to work on hitting the volley. After we hit, we're going to hit a forehand volley, a backhand volley. We're going to take one step back and hit an overhead. Be careful. Obviously, if you're at home, you don't have space for the overhead, just go back and kind of do that. Or if you don't have a racket, just use your arm. One tip on the overhead, 
similar to the ground stroke recovery, most important part of the overhead is split stepping and then a quick crossover turn. So if I'm here, split, as soon as I see the overhead, my right foot turns, I cross over to go back. That's that explosive first step. So you can really cover a lot of ground and get more efficient. If I split, get back, and I can cover a, a lot of ground. So. A backhand volley and an overhead. So give you 10 times, okay? Here we go. Forehand volley, split, backhand volley, split, crossover, overhead. That's one. Forehand volley, split, backhand volley, split, crossover, two, back in. Forehand volley, split, backhand volley, split, crossover, that's three. Forehand volley, split, backhand volley, split, crossover, four. On six, just envision that winning that Houston Racquet Club Club Championships, that winning overhead. Seven. Eight. You know you want that parking spot in front. Nine. One more, best point. Well done. And you can pump the fist because you just hit an overhead winner. Good job, guys. So, and ladies, catch your breath, get some water. So we're gonna move on to some strength exercises back. Uh, we're gonna use, I'm gonna use the medicine ball again. You can use your water jug or you can just use body weight. What we're gonna do, we're gonna incorporate squats, lunges, and side lunges, okay? So it's a strength program, these three exercises. We're gonna do 10, 10 squats, 10 lunges on each leg, 10 side lunges on each leg. So a side lunge, properly form out, keep the chest up, don't let the knee go out, keep the knee inside the toe, and push back. That's how you do a side lunge, okay? Get my ball, we're gonna do 10, 10 on each leg lunges, 10 on each leg side lunge. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay? Straight into the lunges. One. Doing 10 on each leg. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 18, gonna build huge legs after this. 19, 20, all right. You're gonna be having a good sweat by now. Side lunges right into it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Make sure you get nice and wide. Fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Last one and twenty. Well done. All right, 
and do a couple more exercises. We're almost done. See you guys when you're gonna go work out. Then we'll do a little Q and A while you guys are cooling down. So we're gonna go back. the balance at the prior perception. A lot of times you have awkward shots. You have to be aware of your body control. So 12 on each leg. And then we're gonna finish up with 10 side to side, forehand back end, and 10 volley combination. But I'll come back to you after the cones. Here we go, one foot behind the cone. One, two, go let Go over, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Really control your body. 10, control the balance. 11, 12, all done. Change legs. One, two, three, four, Five, six, halfway there, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Well done. All right, guys. Last exercise we're going to do. Got to make sure we're strong. This is the third set. Legs are a little tired. Core should be feeling pretty strong after the planks. We're gonna do side to side, forehand backhand, then a forehand volley, a backhand volley, okay? We're gonna do five sets straight. So it's four shots, five stretch, five sets straight. And then we're gonna do a, a three minute cool down and I'm gonna answer any question you guys have uh, as long as it's not a 20 minute question, okay? So let's finish. Here we go. One, two, four, volley, volley, and push back. Split, forward, backward, forward, volley, volley, three months, love it. Forehand, cross over, backhand, push forward, volley, volley, that's three, push back. Forehand, backhand, push forward, volley, volley, push back. Last one, next point, over, back, volley, volley, and back. Well done, guys. I'm going to share anybody. Job, get some water. Good way to start the day. Get a little sweat going, get a little little visual tennis going. I mean, look at the positive. None of us lost the point that whole that we played. So that's a big positive. But let's uh see if we can unmute everyone. Uh, and then, uh, and then yeah, any questions you guys have you want to shoot I'll do my best to answer them go ahead big ballast I might, I might need my, uh, I might need Lindsay to, to detect me. Then, can you hear? That was great. Have. Uh, 
How many people have on today? Uh, I can't hear anything, unfortunately. We'll do this. We'll uh, we'll do it. We'll do it again, or I do it from the racket club. Um, hopefully sooner rather than later and uh we can all get together and i can answer a bunch of questions and we can just talk and uh, uh, help you guys you. out but thank you for joining me today it was fun hope you hope i'm work out positive on this together ah. seeing you back for racket club soon so let's do this stay strong guys great thank you so much Good. Thank, thank you, you. thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank right. you. That's it. Thank you. Holy cow. Holy cow. This is a workout. This is my workout. This is my I'm going to tell you easy thing to do with this.